Hello everyone. So in today's lecture, we are going to see about how to work on simulator in TIA portal. So we have one of, one of the projects, right? So here we are having one project instrumentation tools, right? We can open this project and we'll be configuring one CPU and we'll see how to use the simulator, right? So I am just double clicking it in and opening it, right? Okay. Now we'll go to configure device. After going to configure device, we'll be clicking on add new device. After clicking on add new device, we'll be opening this one. And here we will be taking CPU 1217C DC DC relay. Here, one important thing here is to notice the version should be greater than 4.0. Otherwise, we can't work on simulator, right? So, so all these things I told you in the previous lectures also okay now see i'll be clicking on the add here now here you can see that we are having one cpu okay and this cpu we can just maximize it and see the number of ios here you can see the different number of ios available here so these are basically the digital inputs and here we are having the digital outputs right so uh, what is the address i0.0 .0 is the first digital input and then i0.1 in this way there are number of digital inputs available similarly we are having the digital outputs here okay so what we will do is see if you observe here we are having program blocks okay so we are having different types of blocks here so let us see what are the different blocks available in tia portal now here if you observe here we are having first one is organization block which is the main block okay so we'll be programming here in only then later we'll be seeing what are the function blocks what is function and what are the data blocks okay so i am just clicking on okay here okay now see if you observe here this is our main block okay i'll be double clicking on this main block let me delete on this one okay so this is our main block now what i'll do is i'll just take one no okay so here we can observe here is see these are the different types of symbols available so this is basically the normally open contact this is normally close contact this is assignment okay basically this is the coil and here we are having an empty box which can be converted to timer or counter as per our requirement that we'll be seeing in the later sessions okay so this is for opening the branch this is for closing the branch okay so how to take parallel that also we'll be looking okay so first of all let us take this no here okay and we will be taking one output right now our main aim here is to work, how to work on simulator okay so we will be looking how to work with the simulator so i am just taking one no and one coil to understand this concept right so what we will do is we need to put the address here so actually what will be the address okay so these are the input basically this is what input side okay so what here we will be having the input address and here we will be having the output address okay so let us define the addresses first okay so we can give some tag names to these addresses okay so here if you observe we are having plc tags okay so here we'll be going to plc tags and open this data block table or we can just data tag table or we can just click on show all text okay 
so if you observe all the tags which are taken in the project are available here okay so initially we have no tags so we'll be defining some tags here okay so let us define it as input okay so input is basically start input okay so i'll be writing it as start okay so automatically the address will come as i0.0 okay and the data type will be boolean okay now our second one is led basically the output i'll be writing it as led okay so here if you observe the address is i0.0 but our led should be an output address so i'll be changing the address so q0.0 is the address here okay now this both the tag names are defined here okay now we'll be using these tags in the program okay so what is our logic here by clicking on this input this output should be high so what i'll do is i'll just write start here okay so automatically the address will come okay now see i'll just you know, either i can give the address directly q0.0 okay or we can give the tag name also okay so led if you write led also then also the same tag will be available here okay so in this way we have defined the tags and used them in the logic okay now we'll see how to use the simulator because we are not having the actual plc here so we'll be taking the simulator so here we'll be clicking on start simulation and then just click on okay 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 so now i'll be clicking on load here and here we can just start the module and finish okay so this cpu has been now the cpu is available here right so we can just download the logic inside the cpu okay so see here it has been downloaded load and finish okay now see we uh, what we will do is we will just click on this one and create one simulation table right so first of all we will be creating one project and then simulation table so let us open this one so after this i will be clicking on this new project and create the new project okay now i will go to sim tables here and double click on the sim table one here okay now see whatever tags we have created in our project that all tags will be available just by clicking on this load project tags okay so i will just click on this load project tags okay now see we are having this tia portal here right so i will just turn it on the monitoring will be on from here okay now see initially the output is not high okay so basically we have not turned the input on okay so basically this address is in low state initially now i'll go to this here i'll go to the simulator okay just click on this one see now when i am clicking on this address that is uh, we are activating this start input the output led is automatically getting high 
okay so this is how the simulator can be used for analyzing the logic okay so here also we can observe that this output is this input is activated and the output is getting high okay now, okay so in this way we'll be using simulator in upcoming lectures to understand the plg logics so okay so remaining things we'll be seeing in the next lecture so thank you